In today's video breakdown, I'm going to be showing you a little mini scheme out of the bunch tight end from the Las Vegas Raiders playbook in Madden 21. What's up guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, uh, my channel provides tips and tricks videos basically to help you get better at the game. And we do four of these videos every single day, so if you have not already subscribed, I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen so that you can get access to the latest tips and tricks videos that we offer. All right, guys, so I've gotten a bunch of requests for this video, and uh, I wanted to share this with you. Now, this is a really good little mini scheme that you can do. You can kind of take some of the concepts that a lot of pro players are using out of this trips tight end in the Las Vegas book. Now, the reason the Las Vegas book is so good is because the Las Vegas book has so many good running formations that you can utilize and in my opinion it is still not the easiest thing in the world to do to consistently stop someone that runs the ball and can run the ball well in this game they actually have a lot of good packages that you can audible down to for example you could come in a wing clo weak close flex and run the um, halfback dive, halfback counter weak. This PA boot shot is a really, really good route combination that you can utilize. Uh, bench flat, a lot of good stuff. You can go to the strong close. And in my opinion, strong close, one of the best under center passing um, books that you can get into. But you've got double post, um, you've got PA deep cross, you've got PA scissors, wide trail is a really, really good play. Uh, wide receiver out is also a really good play. There's a lot of good stuff. Uh, from the strong close formation if you want to pass the ball and it does have some decent runs the halfback zone week halfback dive quick toss in my opinion the strong close quick toss might be on its way back i actually think it's pretty effective um but uh, you can and we'll do a video on the runs as well from this format this book but there's just so many good um so many good plays that you can use and go down to single back bunch and run um, some really good concepts from a single back bunch. I think single back bunch is underrated this year because of the, how good the quick pitch really can be for you. Um, you have all of these uh, amazing under center formations. And so a lot of really, really good opportunities to run the ball. You also have wing slot offset, which is a, a nice little formation in and of itself with great route combinations that you can utilize. You have the tight doubles, which this is a very underrated um very underrated little playbook here. Um, you got Z spot, you got mesh spot, you got tight end curl, you got halfback angle, which is a really good little play. Um, and here's the deal with route um, apprentices, right? With the rise of that, especially in the Madden Ultimate team, you can kind of really start to create your own offense in a, in a way with just your hot routes. Um, the key routes that you need are post routes, which you can create those with route apprentices. If you have outside apprentice or slot apprentice, you can create those post routes really from anything. If you have a tight end apprentice, you can create crossing routes. So there's just so many things that you can do from this book. But I've gotten a lot of requests for this, and this is kind of a preview of what we do in our text message membership today. Um, basically what I'll do is I'll do a very in-depth guide on something in the game that I'm really finding useful, whether it be a, a shotgun bunch guide that we did out of the Carolina book, whether it be um, – a guide out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook uh, where we basically went through and broke down their playbook. Maybe it's a guide on um, uh, the big nickel over G defense and how to utilize that. Or what we're looking at maybe is potentially even doing our nickel 335 defensive um, stuff within within that for our text message members. So if you have not joined our text message membership, I'd highly encourage you to do that. Um, basically, all you have to do to join is just text me. It's completely free. Uh, my number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen there. It's 812-216-3644. So just shoot, give me a text. Let me know you'd like to receive the videos. We have six already out. And what I'll do is I'll just shoot you the playlist with all those videos. Now, that playlist is not public to my YouTube audience. It's not public to my Discord members, which if you haven't joined the Discord, though, it is very beneficial for you to jump in there and talk Madden with us 24-7. But um, the text members are the only people that receive those links to those videos. So uh, if you want access to the, that content, um, basically literally all you got to do is just, um, just shoot me a text and let me know you'd like to get access to it. It's also in the description as well. All right, so Gun Bunch tied in. And the reason I like to use the Bucks is just to kind of imitate what you can do in Mutt. Because in Mutt, you can have, you can have a tight end apprentice, a slot apprentice, and a running back apprentice. And you're seeing a lot of people from Gun Bunch uh, really like to do that as well. So Gun Bunch tight end. And the audibles that we're going to set 
are going to be X spot. We're going to have um, inside switch right here. Okay. And then um, PA boot over. I personally like to go with um, four passing plays. I don't really like to run. <laughs> um, so I would put stick in there or curl flat corner. But you could also just use the inside zone if you want. We're going to go over. Um, we're going to go over stick. Okay. Because we're going to basically show you how to do this both with abilities and without abilities and how abilities can kind of make this even better. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just come out in the base play that I want to run uh, is inside switch. That's the base play that I really, uh, in my opinion, I think that's the best base play from this. Uh, but we're going to start with inside switch, okay? And inside switch is just an amazing play in of itself. So what we're going to do on defense, we're just going to come out and show you this against some basic coverages that you're going to see and show you how this can really help you uh, break down the coverage. Now, in my opinion, um, in my opinion, as a general rule, you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field. So we're going to spend most of this video on the right hash mark. And obviously, if you're on the left hash mark, just flip everything that we're talking about. Okay. And one of the things I think is actually really important for people trying to get better at the game is to learn how to run their offense on both hash marks, learn how to run it flipped. Um, I think that actually is really critical. Okay. So uh, first and foremost, we're going to start against man coverage. And this formation um, offers you, because of the ability you have to motion any of these three bunch receivers to the right, um, it offers a really nice little uh, abilities here. So uh, inside switch, basically my base setup is to take Antonio Brown and put him on a hitch. And then simply, um, if you're on a first and 10, I would smart route. Chris Godwin. If you're on like a second and five, I would not smart route him. I'd just leave him on his route. And then you can also smart route Gronkowski. You'll see it to kind of put him on a nice little sloped uh, slant out right there, especially on a first and 10. If you're not on a first and 10, you can just leave him on that route. But what you're going to see here, this is kind of my base setup. Against man, you can hit this route to the running back uh, pretty easily. The next thing that you can do uh, against man to man is you can hit this route to Godwin, of course. Uh, when he cuts the inside, this thing's going to kill man. Nice little slant combination. And this is kind of similar to Gun Bunch. I mean, it's actually very similar. Um, I think if Spot Me Please was still around, still playing uh, competitive Madden, he was the guy that made Bunch Tight End famous with his just amazing uh, dots that he was able to cook up out of Bunch Tight End. Rest in peace to him. But um, if he was... If he was still around, I think he would definitely be running this offense this year because um, it's actually really effective. Uh, you can hit this little low ball hitch to Antonio Brown. We'll show you this real quick. If you need, you know, you need something for, um, and again, this is cool because, and what makes it even better is the fact that it can just audible down really well. It does have good route combinations, but you can also audible down uh, really well against it. Now with that low ball hitch, um, you'll have to test this out in practice mode. This is obviously two men under just stock, so the, they're going to play underneath. You'll see. Let me show you if I just run Antonio Brown on his route right here. You'll see when he cuts to them. You see. You see how the corner is going to get much more in front of him like that. That's why I like to. I would rather just um, put Antonio Brown on a hitch. But the thing is, with this, you do have to kind of learn how to throw them. Pass lead down to the inside, um, but you really want to hit it like right when he turns. If you have to, if you wait a second. Uh, sometimes it can give the cornerback some op options here. So we'll show you this right here. Pass lead down inside. Um, the only issue is you can kind of you see the the, the the hitch is hitch is kind of uh, I don't know. It normally works for me. It normally works a lot better if they're pressing. So and they normally will press um, if they're not pressing and they and they randomly get underneath him. That's kind of the issue. But you see right here, they're 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 they're, pa they're pressing. I'll tell you what. The, I don't understand what it is about practice mode, but it is just ridiculous. The like random sheds and random glitchy stuff that can come in like that right there. But anyway, let me show you what's going to happen. So you're going to get right in this little pocket right here. Obviously, if they get underneath that hitch, just throw the post route. Most of the time, that, that hitch is going to be there. Um, from what I've experienced, I haven't experienced a ton of defenses that are just able to, to get that. But the next thing, we're just going to move to the next route. Um, you can low ball this route to the tight end against man-to-man -man coverage. You see it's kind of a back shoulder uh, low ball type of situation. A lot of times they're going to be um, usering the the bunch side, so they'll use this left side bunch, which is going to leave some really nice little openings here for you to be able to hit your tight end. As you can see, that low ball um, pretty consistent. The next thing that you can do, if you obviously if you if you can't low ball him, you can pass lead him to the right. 
Um, but you see there, if it's a good covering backer, um, if it's a good, you know, and typically that's going to be a corner there. Uh, but with the Bucks, it'll probably be a backer. But basically what's going to happen on this is if they, you know, get in their grill, press coverage, and we'll show you. I don't know why Brady's hitting the lineman. I don't know why he's hitting the lineman, honestly. Um, normally he doesn't. Normally he hits this route in game for me all the time. So I'm not quite sure what his issue is right now. We'll try to just not lowballing it and just inside pass leading it. You see, if you just inside pass leading it, it does it does fine. Um, the key with hitches and the key with curl routes, in my opinion this year, is to make sure you're inside pass leading these routes. Um, that's what you want to be doing because the inside pass lead is going to help a lot. And really, the cool part about this being a bunch, um, you see how the bunch, one thing you can do that you can't do from like just a standard bunch, I can take Mike Evans and put him on a whip route right here. And what you'll notice is this will create kind of a little natural man switch. See how it sets a pick for him, and he's able to get out there against that man coverage. So that's another option that you have as well. And you obviously can um, put Mike Evans on the hitch if you wanted to. If you wanted to do, you just mix some stuff up here. You know, they start doing some cross manning and different things like that. You see, this is just a way to get Mike Evans unbumpable, and you're able to kind of create a natural man switch within this play. Um, so just another option, right? Just another option. You can do the same thing. Like, you can literally put Mike Evans on the hitch, and this is going to cause press issues, right? The, the, the issue is, you see how they're not able to press him properly at a bunch tight end? To me, that's actually really, really cool. So one of the other things that you could do, like let's say that they're running two man under, right? Let's say that because this is what there are a lot of people going to do. So what you can do is you can take Mike Evans, and if you put Mike A B on a, a zig and Mike Evans on a streak, watch. See how he gets that free release and see how he's going to switch and man. See that right there? That's a nice little. Um, and so like for example, what you'll see defenses will do. Now they probably won't let him run up this seam. Obviously they're going to probably use him, but they might be thinking that he's manned up, and they might just not. They might just completely ignore Mike Evans on this. Literally just put Brown on a zig, Evans on a streak, that same motion out. Everything, the, the, the play is still kind of consistent. But you see right here, you're able to pass lead that route to the inside, especially if they're shading coverage outside and over top because you're going to now be given a window. So you get to beat, you beat the meta coverage just with a simple um, streak, honestly. And you'll see here again, this is just that simple route combination. Now, if you were to leave Godwin like this right here, you see he does go with them a little bit better when when they shade when they start doing the shading. But um, sometimes, like I said, you know, they, if they don't shade coverage outside, um, you might be able to get this through here. Actually, he goes with them there anyway. But you see how I can pass lead that to the inside. Um, if that's not a good corner, you know that that's that's going to be a nice open open pass lead for you out of this. Another thing that you could do, um, and you could just kind of do different route combinations on this side of the field. I mean, you streak, you know, hitch right there. You see the hitch. Now, most of the time when people run man coverage, they're going to be shading coverage over top, especially if they're playing um, competitive. And so because you're not going to, you know, if they, let's just say, let's just say you face a lot of press coverage. If you face a lot of press coverage, you'll see that this little route concept right here from this, that's going to be challenging for them to press you. Um, as you can see, if the if the zig doesn't get pressed, 90% of the time for me it beats man-to-man -man coverage. Especially if you have a good route running there, um, you have good you have good players uh, running that that route. Now let me show you the press coverage one more time and show you what's happening on this play. If they press coverage, you see that they basically switch off, and it's an instant one play touchdown over the top to Mike Evans. Their user's not going to be able to get back on that ball because of the way the user works this year. So. If they press coverage on a bunch tight end, um, this little route combination right here is really, really good. You'll see it again. You see just inside pass lead against the against the cover two man. Very easy, very simple. And that's what I like about this scheme. It's really, truly a simple scheme. And you're really going to force people. People are not going to be able to press man you, um, especially from this little dime uh, set or dollar. You see it's just an inside pass lead, and you're up the, se up the seams, and you're gone. I mean, you're gone. And with bunch tight end, when people run bunch tight end, um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to come out in nickel. Um, as long as there's three corners, as long as there's three corners, more than likely you're going to be fine. So let me just show you, like, nickel 3 through 5 might do a better job. I'm going to show you big nickel over G real quick, and we're just going to show you cover two man. Now watch where the slot, watch where the cornerbacks go 
in bunch tight end from this. So this is an inside switch. Now you see the alignment here. So now he's in press man, and now the inside guy is going to take um, the inside backer right there is going to take Mike Evans. So you should see he's going to run with him there. So, you know, big nickel over G is going to defend it a little bit better in terms of how it works for the, the press side of things. But the thing that you have to, you, know, you do have going for you, let's say you, you see something like this, well, you run this route combination right here. Now watch this hitch route. See how the linebacker cannot get underneath it because the linebacker did not press him. This that's shaded coverage or, or that's two man press. Uh, here we'll shade coverage down. Let me just show you kind of how this can work for you, and you can really make this um, work well. So this is shaded coverage down. You're still able to hit that route to Mike Evans. Again, make sure you're inside pass leading this. But this is just simply one play. Now, um, and let me show you this one more time here. So we're going to shake coverage down, shake coverage inside. I just want to show you this hitch um, and the power that it can it can really work for you here. Got that zig there, and you're going to see just pass it down inside, and you see he's going to beat man to man. So if, if they have to go to dime one four six or to dollar to do that to stop the hitch out of press, if they press out of dime one four six or dollar, you're going to score a touchdown. Okay, so it's just kind of that cat and mouse game that you play uh, with this offense. So uh, the next thing I want to do is cover a couple more plays for you really quickly. Um, so that's that's kind of the, the base setup for uh, inside switch. Uh, and, and, and there's other things you can do with this play, but honestly, that's probably the best overall setup that I've been able to find for this. Um, another thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could take your tight end and put him on a streak. You could leave... I would I would really honestly just leave this little flat and hitch combination on the left side. Uh, one thing you could also do is you could run Mike Evans on a curl route if you wanted to right here. But basically, we're just going to create a left side flood. And what you'll see is if they go cover three, that deep third will oftentimes um, – I'm sorry, that deep third will oftentimes go back with the uh, the outside corner, which will then, in th which would then leave – your tight end up the seam. And again, just make sure that you're um, just make sure that you're smart routing the route. But you'll see he's gonna come out here and watch this corner on the right. So now you got that corner concept. He's gonna he should pull. He doesn't pull there. Okay, well we just check down to the back. That's fine. Um, but it does create a nice little thing. Another thing I really like to do at a bunch tight end, and this is bunch tight end is as good as you make it. It's very creative. Uh, it's one of those offenses you have to be a little bit more creative, in my opinion, to run. But one of the things I really like to do out of this out of this little play is to go to something like um, stick. And what you'll notice, you see the route that Antonio Brown is on. Um, this is actually a really really good route. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take Mike Evans. I'm going to put him on a curl. And then on the back side, I'm probably going to run a curl and a flat concept with the back. I might even just keep the block back in to block. What you'll notice is, let's say they run man-to-man. -man. We're just going to motion this corner out and snap right about here. If they run man-to-man, -man, Antonio Brown will typically win on that out route. That out route will typically get separation against man-to-man. -man, okay? So you're winning in that regard. Okay, so you're able to beat man-to-man. -man. Another way that you can win on this against man-to-man, -man, these curl routes this year are really, really effective against man. This corner route um, probably will not beat man. Um, you'll see right here, he might actually beat him right there. He kind of gets out there. Um, it's a tight throw, but right on the break of the ball, um, he will probably beat man. And we'll show you this real quick again. We're looking at something like this right here. Um and, you know, basically, if you have a tight end apprentice, it makes this offense even better. But you see right here, um, if they're shading coverage up, shading coverage outside, you can lowball these routes against man-to-man -man pretty consistently, right? But let's just assume that they've been able to take away uh, Chris Godwin on this play. And then let's just come back to Antonio Brown for just a second. If he reads man-to-man, -man, he typically is going to get open against that, um, that coverage. Another thing that you could do um, with Antonio Brown's route, I actually really like to do this out of stick, is you could smart route his route. Whoops, I'm sorry. Actually, maybe you can't. Nope, you can't. Okay, you can't smart route his route. But you can from some formations. What you'll see against zone, though, is you have really, really good concepts. You see how they kind of settle up? See how Antonio Brown's route will kind of settle up? Typically, he goes shallower than that. The reason he went deeper was because he got pressed. 
which is actually very uncommon because most people are going to be setting their zone drops. So if he does get pressed, that's kind of, you know, that's that's one way they can kind of approach it. Another thing you could do is just, you know, basically curl him. But what you'll see right here is let's say they let's say they run some kind of cover three, you know, a little flat. You see how he kind of sits in the zone. That's actually a really nice little route that you can utilize and benefit from. Another thing you could do off of this is obviously you could, from stick, you could, you could basically, um, you know, you could take Evans, put him on a curl, and then you could take, when you motion Godwin out, just put him on a smoke screen. And you'll see this little route combination right here. I love this little route combination. It's just little, little natty routes from bunch tight end. Little, little yard gaining type of routes. Obviously, you could do the standard um, tactic from trips tight end, where basically, uh, and I actually like to do this out of the play X spot, but es essentially what you're going to do is you just have three underneath routes, right? So you have a curl, you have a hitch, you know, and then you have um, a little flat. And what you'll see, just motion God went out, snap right about here, and you'll notice that these routes uh, will be very effective. I actually really like these route combinations, especially against zone coverage, because a lot of times from zone, what you're going to see is you're going to see something like this right here where they're going to start to do this. And we'll show you why they'll do that in just a moment. But they'll start to double flat, uh, especially as you are starting to establish other things that you can do. So what you'll notice is um, what you'll notice is these little underneath routes, motioning God went out. They're going to get really nice little spacing right here. And see how that flat's going to pull those flat zones? And you're going to be able to just take the underneath, take the underneath, take the underneath. So that's a little bit about that. I want to show you... Um, Let's say they're not doing that, right? Let's say they're just running standard cover three against you. Uh, if you were to run stick, what you can do with this play is take Brown, put him on a streak. What I would do with your tight end is I would put him on either a curl or a post route. I actually really like the post. And then take your running back, put him on a little option route right here. Something just simple like this. This little flood concept on this left side of the screen here, uh, what you'll see is against cover three, if they don't have... Obviously, here they have the, the safety deep. If they don't have the safety on the bunch side, meaning if they don't have the safety going uh, to the bunch side here, what you'll notice from this play stick is very, very simple, right? But you have that corner route. That motion out corner route is going to pull the zones, so you can pass lead that streak to the left against cover three. Most of the time, people are going to deep half on this just to keep this from happening. So when people start to deep half, then it allows you other opportunities as well. So let's say they go, you know, you're in this and they're running cover three, right? Well, you go to your play um, the stick. And now what you're going to see is you could just take the underneath. You'll see right here, I can just take the flat and I got a lead blocker out in front of me and I get about 15, 20 yards. Okay, so that's a zone beater. So people are going to start to double flat because they have to. Now, what pe one thing people will try to do against you is they'll try to run cover two and get away with as much cover two as they possibly can. Um, and what you'll see on this, because of the motion out of this route to Godwin, you'll see this right here. You can hit that quick flat for four to five. The other thing that you can do is this, this little... Um, this little uh, route will um, beat zone coverage as well. So you see, once he gets the sideline pass lead up that corner route, you see he is going to beat man or uh, beat the cover two defense as well. So there's just a lot you could do with this play. Uh, we'll have part two coming later today, but that's kind of an introduction to the bunch tight end. A uh, little bit of what you can expect. We'll show you some other things that you can do. Uh, this curl flat corner play, not very many people I think are running this, but it's actually kind of good. Um, and we'll show you we'll show you why later on. But you see, I mean, this route just torches cover two. Um, Antonio Brown's corner route is going to get so deep that it's just going to really open up some op opportunities. You can see for your offense. So that's a little introduction to the bunch tight end. Make sure to text me if you want more tips like this. Um, I have a ton that I can shoot your way. And then also uh, make sure you're in our Madden Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, all you got to do is just check it. The link is in the description. This is an introduction to the bunch tight end. We got part two coming later this afternoon. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications on so you can get access to that video. We'll see you later.